If it isn't the tornadoes, when it's the flooding that we have to be concerned about. High water earlier today in Fort Worth on Meacham Boulevard. We saw at least one car stalled in the water, and right now some homeowners are monitoring how high the water goes. Aaron Jones, live near right White Rock Creek in Dallas. What's the latest, Aaron? Well, Matt, we're here off Goforth, and you can see the road is blocked off. The do not enter sign is flashing. In the last 24 hours, this neighborhood has received a lot of rain, but so far, all the homes are safe, no flooding. People who live here say they're hoping that that expected rain that we're supposed to see tomorrow avoids this area. I just wanted to get some photos of it. There's a lot of flooding around. It's something they're getting used to. Should have brought my bathing suit to uh, probably swim versus biking. Maybe we should invest in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few weeks ago, White Rock Creek crested at an all time high, flooding many homes here off Goforth Drive. Now, once again, water is creeping close. I um, have spent all day watching the water. You know, I normally love the rain, and I'm so over it right now. <laughs> Debbie Stick still dealing with damage from the flooding last month, which sent more than two feet of water into her home. I had to have this wonderful com remediators company come in, and um, they took down all the drywall and the um, insulation and stuff. And then I had these amazingly great friends who came over and helped us move all the furniture out and clean up the floors. The good thing is, is we have a really active community. A community committed to helping those who need it any way they can. And that community is raising money for those who are dealing with the flooding. Some good news is that everyone in this neighborhood says they do have flood insurance. It's required. Reporting live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.